Hello, uh, this is Yan Sang. Uh, you can call me John. Uh, yeah, <laughs> nice to meet you. It's a uh, first first uh, painting live in English, so I'm very nervous <laughs> because I'm not so good at uh, speaking English. So uh, if you you don't understand me, yeah, I'm sorry about that. But I had uh, been asked about uh, English live, so yeah, today I start. Yeah, wow, <laughs> I'm really nervous. Okay, um, I I love to paint watercolor, so I will start with watercolor today. Uh, uh, I will paint this thing with. Uh, hold the sketch first. It's a 4B, uh, very thick uh, holder. So let's start. Please enjoy it. Okay. So this is the eye level, and the water level is same with the eye level, and. Here, here is uh, the located area which I am standing. So this is my eye level and located position. So you here have a vanishing point. Hello, Afa. Nice to see you here. Best of luck with the English channel. Thank you so much. Welcome here. So, yeah, it's the very uh, important point of view. And here is a very huge giant ship. You don't need to paint with very accurate. Sometimes you can practice very accurate drawing, but not every time. More important thing is the light and shadow feel. Because when we see a uh, grayscale photo, we understand shape, right? It doesn't uh, uh, matter to recognize any shape in grayscale. So. Value is very important to understand the shape, not color. Color can make confusing to understand the shape. Sometimes it is help, but sometimes it's very confusing. Because uh, sometimes with color, uh, they make confusing about the right value. So. Try to see value first. I think it's done. That's what I want to paint. Okay, then coloring now. I 
I have learned uh, watercolor from Mike Solo VF, uh, who is a great artist, great watercolor master. So this is the Solo Black. It's a his brush. It's quite great. So it's a little bit evening thin. Uh, so I will make some color for the sky. It's better to make a lot of uh, water paint mix. You don't need to fill again when you paint because watercolor, especially watercolor, is very important the timing. So make it hues. Then you don't you won't regret about that. So now I think it's done. So uh, careful about some highlight, but I mostly paint with wash. You don't need to a lot of white area because white area in oil color means it's a highlight. So yeah, it's, it needs some area, but there aren't many. I want to. Exit. Press some exciting fill of water and sky. You don't need to control everything in watercolor. You can't and you don't need to. Because water makes some very fill. So sometimes you just need watching what the water does. It's a very exciting journey. can splash some water to give some exciting film and this is the first wash first wash uh, means very uh, bright and the thing is of the first wash is not that serious so you can add many colors uh, but you should careful about the paper if the paper is good yeah your wash go some low saturate color after it dries but if the paper is not so good 
it looks like very vivid, but it's not so good because the pigment and water don't go deep in the paper. So it seems like good, but you will have some trouble to express deep feel of the watercolor. Just remember this is the first wash, so you should you should enjoy this part. You can go any other direction. If you have any questions, please ask. can do many things before it dries. Uh, most dangerous time to paint watercolor is the time it starts dry. If your paper is good enough for watercolor, it uh, it dries later. Then you will have more time to consider the scene. But if it's not so good paper, it dries fast. So you will uh, you you have to hurry in in the case. Even if it's not uh, fully dried, I'm using some thickness of watercolor paint so I can add more color here. But you don't, you should be careful about this. You can spread water, even watercolor paint. Like this. I want to make it dry. I'm done with the first wash. So I will turn up mic for a while. And I'll dry with hair dryer. See you soon.
Yes, it's dried. Uh, as you can see, the color uh, became weaker and low saturated. So you can add more layer. So uh, I'm using Sanders Waterford England. Uh, yeah. water paper it's really awesome it contains water a lot and I'm using the texture rough it's quite rough but rough is uh, very good to paint long and it's really good for dry brush and any other exciting uh, exciting expressions so now um, I'm considering about the light and shadow sometimes the light shadow isn't good enough in the original source in those case you can emphasize is it right expression emphasize You can do what you want as a um, uh, director of the painter. My teacher, Mike Soloviev, always uh, told me think like as a Paint director. Do not just follow the original source because it's just source. You can you can uh, use it as a reference, but you don't need to just copy. Every artist have some different uh, brush strokes and painting feel so they are already changing the scene as they want so use it especially the light and shadow to make your paint unique because the grouping with the light and shadow is very personal and very good for uh, Give some exciting and unique feel. So I'm using the side of brush. It gives some dry brush stroke. It's a quite unique feel, right? Um, you can use it. Uh, rough surely and also you can use it in uh, cold press it's more more 
Uh, it's smoother than rock, but it's a uh, rough than hard press. Hard press is the most smoothest texture in watercolor papers. But it's not uh, that good. Gives some lot of water fill. I live in Montreal now. In Montreal, the sea is very, 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 very far. I have to go 10 hours drive by car. So I miss the, the ocean a lot. So when I paint some ocean or sea, A little bit uh, comforted by that. If you paint some your healing place, you will be comfort. Painting have some very exciting ability so I add some more lines and well I should careful about the balance if I put so many detail I can feel I can easily lose the distance or group feel about light and darkness so. I don't want to do that. So I have to check whenever I paint, stand up and leave the paint painting many times. Wait for the time to dry or drink some coffee yeah it it restore your vision because when you paint you concentrate a lot sometimes you don't understand dry brush, a lot of dry brush to fill this crane. Is this crane? Maybe it's a big fort. I 
don't want to uh, describe everything, but I want to express some something, not everything. Some. Some containers have some colors, so I, I just want to fill some of them, not everyone. We already have a lot of experiences about the shape, so if I give some hint, our subconscious feel the whole thing with our imagination it's very interesting about the painting I love that I love that freedom so also in this paint I don't give every detail Thank you for the English channel. Love your drawing style. Thank you so much, Yuan Jen. I still have some difficulty to call name correctly. Even my pronunciation is bad. Please forgive me. Another important thing to paint watercolor is the negative painting. You can paint outside of the object, then it uh, describe the shape like this. So paint outside and meet the highlight. Uh, it gives some strong. Uh, hint for the shape. It's a very exciting. It's not line work. Many people nowadays, many people like uh, like to paint, and there are a lot of. Uh, urban sketch meeting and groups so it's very good so but many times uh, people use pen I also use a lot of and it's a very exciting material but pen is sometimes it's too strong It gives the feel of line easily, but sometimes it's too strong. So you cannot um, understand the surface. But watercolor uh, have a very uh, beside exciting benefit to describe surface not the line so I hope you understand negative painting it gives you a lot of freedom to describe surface and the light and shadow feel uh, is very important in surface too so.
Okay, I almost done. Yeah, I didn't describe everything, but I hope you understand the thing because light and shadow and some negative through some negative painting. I can add more waterwork building and I can add some bird bird can divide the big surface sky and today I used this one brush it's a very uh, big one if you, I compare with my thumb, yeah, it's quite big, right? It's a mop brush, but it uh, has a very sharp edge on the tip. So you can describe this kind of burr too. And you can uh, As you, you saw in the first time when I paint the first wash, I used this too. A very exciting brush. And you can add some more texture uh, based on the light and shadow. You can give more contrast. So it's the final work. Worker is very unique. When you use some thicker material, you can control the paint. But to paint watercolor, you should uh, know about the water. It it doesn't go what you want, <laughs> so it's really hard sometimes, and especially the first time. But because of that water, you can paint very exciting scenes. So don't give up to paint with watercolor. It's really awesome. I think it's done. So I will add my signature and I will do final dry and I will peel up the masking tape. It's the most exciting time. So, yeah, today is the first day. So I will do drawing live, painting live uh, every Sunday, 9 p.m. and 9 p.m. EST. So, I will try right now. I will turn up the mic for a while.
I think it's done. Stella, oh, congratulate on this new ENG channel, John. Your painting with English speaking is very exciting to me. Good luck. Cheers. Thank you so much, Stella. I'm very nervous. <laughs> But it's a um, unique experience. Oh, careful about this thing. Sometimes you fill up your paper. Maybe it's too, it was too tight. Okay. When you peel up the tape, you can have some clear white edge. Yeah, it feel nice. <laughs> okay, I enjoyed the painting. And thank you for watching to this live. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Okay. Uh, yeah, I will add some. Uh, Some fill up letter here for the final touch. You don't need to express uh, exact um, spelling, just some fill. Okay, and don't forget to subscribe my channel and click like and click alarm bell button too. Yeah, I will see you. in the next Sunday. Thank you so much. Do not be nervous. You did a good job. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, have a nice uh, week. See you. Thank you so much. Bye.